Hi, I am Ajit Joseph uh, from Nansen Environmental Research Center, India. Uh, and uh, first of all, let me thank the organizers of uh, GHRSST Symposium and also the organizers of GHRSST Science Team Meeting to invite, uh, consider our poster for uh, a discussion on this uh, particular symposium here in our path. I wish to present my uh, team's poster on a comparison of uh, in situ sea surface temperature and chlorophyll data from the offshore waters of southwest coast of India, particularly from the offshore waters of Kochi, uh, with GHR SST and uh, uh, Morris data. This work is uh, initial work uh, done by one of my students uh, together with my colleagues. Uh, Dr. Renita and Lasse Peterson from Norway. And this work, uh, particularly uh, considering the comparison of, uh, as I said, this uh, GHRSST with the EC2 measurements of chlorophyll and the sea surface temperature. Uh, the first figure in this poster uh, shows the location from where we have collected the in situ sampling for this particular study. And we observed that uh, the matchup points between the GHR SST and the in situ sampling uh, SST uh, are in synergizing with the close correlation, uh, except some few stations are not matching up with the satellite derived uh, SST data. Uh, similarly, the chlorophyll data from the field uh, locations are also uh, showing good results with the MODIS uh, data. Uh, we have analyzed uh, this particular uh, data sampling from during the pre monsoon conditions. So we could cover only a one season for the entire uh, uh, span of one year. And the data we up, uh, we have utilized is uh, from the EODAC uh, archive data on GHR SST and the modis chlorophyll data, and we processed it using the Python codes. Here in the poster, uh, figure number two uh, shows the comparison of uh, cross matchup points between GHR SST and uh, the field SSD as well as uh, the chlorophyll A and uh, MODIS uh, data from the field samples. Is that the, uh, the figure number three shows uh, actually this says a spatial plot of uh, chlorophyll A uh, distribution uh, during a bloom event which triggered from the Park Bay in south east East and coast at the southern part of the south uh, tip of India. And this bloom develops uh, and it extends uh, towards the uh, west coast of India. So the first uh, panel in the figure number three shows the uh, uh, spatial distribution of the chlorophyll A along the entire stretch of southwest coast of India. And the second panel is the uh, bio optical conditions at the time of the occurrence of the bloom events. Uh, the fourth figure describes the cross correlation between the GHR SSD and the in situ uh, season temperature and also the chlorophyll A from the field samples and the bodies derived chlorophyll A data. You can see that. Uh, the GHR SST derived data showed a statistically significant matchup of R square 0.72, uh, but uh, the chlorophyll uh, matchup point shows a better comparative results of 0.92 R square uh, between the bodies and the field data. So, overall, uh, the utilization of GHR SST is uh, very comparable and uh, um, which can be further extended for 
for uh, further analysis and uh, process studies of uh, incidents like uh, moon development, how to be the environmental conditions of uh, the sea surface, uh, physical parameters like SSD, and also the bio-optical components of chlorophyll A uh, from the satellite derived uh, chlorophyll. So uh, this uh, EHR SSD, for particularly for the tropical uh, waters, is very much uh, useful for uh, uh, minimizing the efforts of field sampling for uh, um, taking further uh, uh, analysis of the environmental conditions of uh, such uh, hazardous of toxic algal blooms. So I will say that uh, we are planning to extend this study for our Kyle 1 uh, exercise for the space application centers, oceans at three data also. So that is uh, what I would like to present before the August audience and I invite all of you to just have a look into the poster. Thank you once again, my dog. Thank you very much.